Welcome back to Everybody's Golf. We're going to play special tournament number 51, Imperial Garden. Out. Uh, custom clubs, and I might go for a grass cutter, my last Let's one at the up. moment. And really, I just want to play a few games. I'm waiting for the next international tournament, if I'm honest. I just want to keep my hand in. I'm also trying to power up my custom clubs. I've got a second set. Um, that I'm trying to max the power out so I can get a Condor uh, on Alpina 12. <clears throat> I've got, I've got is it three, yeah, 348 yards, which might be enough, but you know, you could always do it with a bit more. <clears throat> so, Imperial Garden, um, difficult course. You really get punished if you're in any way offline. There's lots of rough and water and sand and those pothole bunkers and if you do get into trouble you've got to really think about how you get out of trouble you can't just you know as you can on eagle city just thwack your way out of it you know there's pretty much nowhere on eagle city you, you don't have a shot um here that's very much not the case <coughs> so normal wind evening normal cups so nothing massively challenging beyond our own inability to not play like an idiot which is pretty high. Now I've got a bit of extra. Oh, gee. I was going to say now I've got a bit of extra length. I've taken that corner out of play, but you know, miss hitting the impact and generally being rubbish has put me in the water. Um, not an auspicious start. But um, there we go. Bravo. You can only play the next shot. You can't play the last shot. Oh, and that's not a bad shot. That's probably saved my par. Absolutely saved my par there. It was a nice par, Suzuki. You're right. I'm quite proud of that one. So, par start. Um, let's hit our impacts. Concentrate. To hold two. Again, I've got tons and tons and tons of length. The issue is where do I want to land it? Because obviously it's going to run off that way. I haven't quite got enough length to get it up there. Oh, I don't know. Let's have, a, let's have a crack at it. I mean, you could always play it here. In fact, I might do that. Bravo. It gives us a decent shot in. And, you know, I'm always in favour of landing on the, on the short green stuff over the longer green stuff. <coughs> Ooh, just outside of approach range. Uphill anyway, so it wouldn't have really mattered. Uh, not a lot of room there, so kind of got to get this on. Don't really want to be pitching short. Yeah, that's okay. I'll take that. So, birdie pup. This is probably left edge. Yeah, spot on. Nice birdie. Again, uh, the thing I like about this game is is as your skill increases and the length of your clubs increases, different areas of the course come in and out of play. I mean, in theory, you could get it over there. Um, I'm not going to. Do I want to play up there? Do I want to take that much risk? Let's have a cut of a dig. Ugh. So basically, different parts of the course become viable places to play, and you do stupid stuff like this. Yeah, okay, we're in the thick stuff. So one thirty to go. I've just got to keep well out of the way of those pot bunkers, if I'm honest. I do not want to end up in one of those bunkers. Well, we got it on. Played it safe and played to the left-hand side of the green, but that's far better than ending up in that sand. So, this is going to break a little bit left. It, yeah, it is breaking to the right, so I want to play it left. I need a bit more power. I don't know, it's hard to read the line there. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, yeah. 
The slow rolling birdie of death. I thought it was never going to drop. So it's nearly a 30 footer. Oh, I do not like this hole. I don't like this hole for a number of reasons. Mostly because I tend to send it out the back and get it wet. Uh, which is not a great reason. <coughs> Excuse the cough. <coughs> there you go. That's better. It's a five foot for a birdie. I mean, it's not quite left edge, but let's play it left edge. It should hold. Yeah. Nice birdie. Okay. Three under. It's all right. Again, this is another one that just punishes you if you're in any way wayward. Now, I can actually get up to the green here. Far more likely I'm going to end up in the sand. But, you know, nothing ventured. Oh, missed the impact. I need to get a grip of the impact today. That's going to go in the thick stuff, isn't it? Yeah, okay. 30, 30 yards left, though. Okay, it's not, I'm not going to make it on the approach. I mean, let's... Oh. Let's say let's get this on. Dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. And again, I've got to get this up. Oh, that's an unconventional way of getting that up, I'll be honest. Go on. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Just pinged off, just pinged off. Bogey, but again. <sighs> Fairways and greens. I know this stuff. And as I said, this, this course just punishes you. Absolutely punishes you if you don't hit your shots. I mean, if you were going to use a triple impact ball, it would be here. Of course, you know, actually hitting your shots helps. Okay, 175 to go. A little bit of headwind, a little bit uphill, a little bit of room to work. Probably don't need that much additional power, but... Don't go out the back, don't go out the back. It's okay, it's okay. It's actually short at the end. Right, so we've got the eagle pup. Just outside left edge, just a little bit soft. Yeah. Okay, got some of those drop shots back. <laughs> really? I'm not sure. Now again, the brook down here shouldn't be too much problem. I have previously played over here, but of course now I'm far longer than that. Which kind of takes that out of play a little bit. So I suppose the answer is to play here and, and try and hold it up. But actually hitting the impact is, is the first step. And again in the wind this can be super challenging because you just don't know where you're going to pitch and where you're going to end up. That's okay. Bit of a hanging lie. So it will fly right. But lots of green to work with. Oh, well, line was okay. Could have, could have pitched it a bit right. It's a nine foot for birdie. It's just going to break at the end. So we need to hit that firm just to hold its line. Yeah, it just comes back to the centre at the end. And again, we made that pretty routine because we got our, got our drive in the right spot. Gets much more exciting when you're in the rough stuff. Is a par three. Another par three. Good pin position. Into the face of the wind a little bit. That's okay. Just need to make sure I get this up. I missed the impact. How did I miss that impact? I'm blaming my cold. I've left that short and left. 
Oh dear. I'm ill, it's the drugs, Your Honor. Okay, so hangs a little bit. Missed another impact. I am not well. Okay. Again, a relatively straightforward par pump. Again, not the best way to get your par, but it's a par. Okay, last one. Round the corner. Now, with all this length, how far can I get it round the corner? I suppose is the question. Gotta hit the impact, gotta hit the impact. Yeah, got it. Well, that took a bit of pace off it. If it holds, it's alright. That's okay. And again, it's going to kick a little bit because it's hanging. A little bit downhill. A little bit of wind. That looks alright. What a beauty. That's an absolute beauty. Even got a bit of backspin. <laughs> Eight footer. Okay, this is going to break quite a bit. And it's uphill. Oh. Actually, that's probably pace. A little bit less pace. That would have just dropped, I think. Take the eagle. So six under. We dropped some shots. We missed some. We missed some shots. I mean, there's nine or ten there to be taken, isn't there? It's definitely nine under territory. Still a bit my previous score, which was three under. So, you know, improvement. Progress. I'm with a bit of luck, I might get some gems. I suppose we did win the tournament. Not that I was playing to win, if you see what I mean. Stats aren't going to be good, are they? <laughs> Yeah, that's dreadful. It's yours. Woo! Yeah, four gems, that's okay. And some and a natty jumper. I quite I quite like that jumper if I'm honest. Well, we, might, we, might, we might play that jumper. Um okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Please like, share and subscribe, and um, I'll see you next time for some more of your buddies golf.